Yo, before this episode of K-pop RC starts, don't forget to check out kpoprc.com for scale as sh apps for your scale ride. Or pick yourself up a set of Recaros, an intercooler, or even 10 scale body screws or budget cooling fans. Remember, for every $20 you spend, you get two entries to win the Zero Flux Hilux cage. Super quick recap, just a heads up, this is part number two. If you want to see how we got here, go watch the first episode of the Dirty E30 Wagon Scale Drift Project. We got a chassis and it drifts naked, but it drifts. Now it's time to slap on that scale as body. Let's get right into the action. So, how do you take an A-plastics wagon and get that wide body M3 treatment? Well, just like you would convert the E30 Touring in real life, you, you turkey, get yourself an M30 body and cut those glorious box flares out of that sh A while back I had bought a Taimiya E30 M3 Jaeger Meister body, it came super damaged in shipping, had crease marks on the body, and it was scratched through the protective Lexan film on the roof and the hood. It also had pre-punched holes for body posts. Come on, Tamiya. And boy, oh boy, was I super disappointed when I found out the Tamiya grill and light buckets aren't the same size as the A-Plastics body. Major, major bummer. But I wasn't gonna let that let me down. I cut those box flares out of there and we were mocking up that dirty 30 wide body in no time. Starting to look fire, bros. That delicious M3 wide body on that dirty wagon E30. Shameless plug. Visit capofrc.com and get yourself a hundred of these tiny body screws for 10 bucks, 10 bones. Heads up, that's much cheaper than RC Mart, and they're the same damn screws. Here you can see a little demo on some thick Lexan. Usually the Lexan on the sides of these RC bodies are much thinner due to stretching during vacuum forming. So you don't get these bowing areas as you see here on the example. I used a thumbtack to push holes through both layers. Quick tip, measure out the holes on the body, then poke them on that layer first. Then use two thumb screws, push through both layers to hold the panel in place while you poke the rest of the holes through the two layers of Lexan, prepping them for some K-pop RC body kit screws. Next, we mount the body. As seen earlier, the chassis is already set up and drifting fantastically. So now is the perfect time to mount the body, making sure clearance and fitment is optimal. Gotta stance this shit out as proper as possible, yo. Can't have no monster truck in the front. I got some amazing front body posts made by Overdose. These are hood pin style body posts. They don't look like your dad's tired to me a TTO one. <laughs> they actually look like the real frickin' deal. They definitely force some serious ice slippage 
is it's a solid $20 US for a set. Of course, I shook myself out of it and only bought one pair. The rear will be mounted using the Suck My Cura magnetic body cups and some shigu. Now, this wouldn't be a K-pop RC build without some serious 3D printed parts, so of course I had to add some flair, some accents to set the build off. Of course, when scrolling the internet for dirty M30 wagon E30 builds, I stumbled on this cherry car. Created by Kaizo Salim, Kaizo's today, Junior tuning company called LTO, which is short for Live to Off-Road. Their E30 kit is the badassest assery that has ever asseried. Is that a, is that a thing? Is that a thing? No! Obviously the wide body, but also that sick wing on the back, those louvers, and that minty rear diffuser. All these needed to be modeled and installed. I got a package in the mail from Monster Parts and all the way from Los Angeles, man, Los Angeles. With a little juice. No, we think that juice. USA, that's right. All the way to here in the great white north of Canada. <laughs> Jimmy, the owner-operator of Monster Parts, makes some super sick 3D printed parts for the hobby scene. From his crazy awesome monster truck bodies to the engine pokies for RC drag cars. Heard anything like that? Oh, no, good. Woo. Okay, good. Dashboards to MST wheelbarrows. This dude makes some of the coolest obscure custom parts. If you want originality at your local drift track, check out his selection of parts. Find him on Instagram or on Facebook. Message him there or send him an email and you'll hook you up. Let's check out what's in this freaking box. Ah, I'm just gonna use a pen, whatever. Oh snap. Oh no, it looks like he beat, he beat Gear Guy to it, man. Cause I think Gear Guy's sending me a bunch of steelies for the Cletus McFarlane build. Hell yeah, brother. Man, look at these. Oh snap. So check this out. Let's get it centered in here. All right, so these are barrels. So uh, Monster Parts Monster Parts is making these barrels for MST uh, wheel inserts. MST makes these kind of universal drift rims and they come with a barrel and then you can get a bunch of different inserts to go inside them and uh, Monster Parts, uh, these things will look really low profile. The tires will look really low profile in them, but that's kind of sick. Um, there's nothing cooler than Steely's uh, on drift projects, so this is super sick. I uh, can't wait to put these either on the Cletus build or even on some other build, man, because they're so sick. Check them out. Uh, resin printing is so good. There comes a time in every project where you just sit back and look at your creation and either say, damn, that looks sweet as shit, or you question your life's ambitions. I kind of feel smack dab in the middle on this one. It's everything I'd hoped it would be at this stage, but will it live up to my internalized hype? 
Can I round third base and stick it in for that home run? So now the nerves set in. Painting Lexan bodies has never been my favorite part of the process and for good reason. When I painted the E30, it was a great time. I lived alone, I had a large space. I took the time to reflect on my past painting experiences and really try to embrace the failures. Tried to audit my skills and lay down a don't be an idiot and make the same mistakes twice mantra. If you dudes want to have like all the ultimate success painting in Lexan bodies. Every time you mask, whatever you're gonna paint next, you need to just make sure, make absolutely positively sure that there is no color bleed on any of these panels. Of course, two years pass and I just blow all that out of my brain and prepare to curse myself, swear at myself, and f everything to the point of almost no return. What did I do? I used masking tape. You blithering idiot! You 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 idiot! The E30 front end has a few complex Lexan folds that make up the front cowl and headlight sections. I used Tamiya masking tape and tried to get the cleanest lines possible, basically as I rested my feet on a bottle of liquid mask. Did I shoot the process of me up and fixing it for hours only to leave a few black smudges so perfectly ready to totally mess up my white main coat? You bet I didn't. There's a point in a man's frustration where he just tunnel visions himself into a world of pain. <laughs> And maybe somewhere deep down inside him, he realizes he f up. And to add insult to injury, I put the white top on a black can and sprayed a little toot of black on a side skirt. Holy hell. You idiot! You idiot. You idiot. You idiot. So guys, the project is still pretty wicked. It's a five footer. Far from good, but good from far. And I'm okay with that. That's how we learn from our mistakes, even if I had to learn from them a few times in a row, son of a bitch. How can I learn from this? How can we fix this in the future? Well, I think I've completely converted to liquid mask on paint jobs. That is the way. Also, screw the poison that is Tamiya polycarbonate spray paint. Just screw it. I should be using my airbrush, which is a whole new learning curve that is sure to mess up future painting projects, but at least I can lay it down inside the warmth of my tiny studio. I don't know. Maybe I'm just too hard on myself. Cheers to beer boys, already bought another body. Using, uh, using the sounds of the car, guess what car it's gonna be. Okay, 
pop out.